Welcome to 2021. Congratulations, you made it. And of course, with a new year comes plenty of new opportunities, new possibilities, and new games coming to a platform near you. So I thought that I would sit down today and share my top five most anticipated games of 2021, because there are some pretty awesome experiences coming our way. Ragnarok is coming. The next entry in the God of War franchise is on the way for 2021, bringing with it a ton of high-octane, action-packed cinematic adventures between Kratos and Atreus as they face off against the pantheon of gods. Very exciting stuff here because I loved 2018's God of War. In fact, it might be my favorite game of the last generation. But this is actually the reason why I did not buy a PlayStation 5 at launch. Number one, they're so scarce that it was going to be hard to find one anyway. And number two, this is really the first big next gen game that I absolutely have to play. So this is what might actually get me to go out and buy a PlayStation 5. Deeply looking forward to the next adventure from Sony Santa Monica. Spartan, we thought you dead. It is dead. 2021 marks the 20th anniversary of the release of Halo Combat Evolved, the game that started it all and shaped first-person shooters for decades to come. And of course, the crowning jewel of the year is going to be Halo Infinite. After suffering a year-long delay, the game is finally slated to launch in fall of 2021, and judging from some screenshots that we saw released in December, things are shaping up to be pretty good looking. Very excited about this one, and even after the development turmoil that it has faced, I cannot help but be pumped to see what the team at 343 brings to the table. Next up we have Returnal coming to us from the team at Housemark. This is a PlayStation 5 exclusive slated to launch in March, and I'm very excited about this one because of the pedigree of Housemark. They have games like Next Machina, Reso Gun, Super Stardust HD, Dead Nation, so many fantastic games, and this one is kind of unique because it is a third person shooter, but that bakes in these elements that you've seen from previous Housemark games. After crash landing on a shape-shifting world, Selene, your main character, must search through the barren landscape of an ancient civilization for her escape. Through relentless roguelike gameplay, you'll discover that just as the planet changes with every cycle, so do the items at your disposal, offering new combinations, forcing you to push your boundaries and approach combat with a different strategy every time. It keeps things very fresh. Forza Sutra Far Cry 6 transports players to a tropical paradise frozen in time. Welcome to Yara. As the dictator of Yara, Anton Castillo is intent on restoring his nation back to its former glory by any means, with his son Diego following in his bloody footsteps. Their repressive rule has ignited a revolution, and of course Anton Castillo is played by Giancarlo Esposito, known in many roles, but primarily you might know him as Gus Fring in Breaking Bad the head of Los Pollos Hermanos. Many rumors have been flying that Diego, the son of Anton Castillo, is actually Voss from Far Cry 3. Now, the official Far Cry Twitter account has said those rumors are false, but are they pulling our leg? Are they leading us along? I suppose time will tell. But I'm very excited to dive back into that classic Far Cry formula. While many of the games have the same kind of setup, I love raiding bases. I love a good dictatorship crumbling. It's just a fantastic little formula, and I can't wait to dive back in in 2021. Together, we built order out of chaos. Finally, we have Chorus, and this is a game that took me by surprise because it was revealed during the Xbox Showcase earlier this year. This is essentially a space combat game, and man, does it look beautiful. Of course, it has been optimized for next-gen consoles, but on top of that, whenever you look at the gameplay itself, 
it just shines. It looks so smooth, and when it comes to space combat, I cannot wait to see how it takes the classic spirit of space shooters and evolves it for the modern day. Of course, there is a single player narrative where you play as ex cultist Nara and her sentient AI companion in Starfighter Forsaken as you fight what created you. But do I love a good cult fight? Absolutely. Do I love some good space combat? Oh, yes. And it looks like Chorus is going to be one that I pick up on day one, no doubt. But that rounds out my top five most anticipated games of 2021. In the comment section down below, let me know what games you are looking forward to in the next year, where you will be playing them, and if you have not picked up a next gen console, which one are you looking for? Or perhaps you're upgrading your PC in the year ahead. Would love to see what you have planned. But until next time, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon, and peace.